Hey guys, Black Panther here and welcome to a video on Project Cars and it's not out yet. So this is not a proper commentary style video, it's just going to be me talking about my opinion of the fact that Project Cars only has 65 cars. Which to me seems like a very small number. Now, personally, I have defended games in the past for having smaller car lists, including Drive Club. I even defended Need for Speed Rivals. The only complaint I had about Rivals is the way they split the cars. But overall, I think Project Cars is a little bit disappointing to me in the fact that the car list anyway. Because, let's be honest, I was ridiculously hyped for Project Cars just to come out because we haven't got a sim, proper sim racer on the PlayStation. I was finally going to be able to use my wheel with it. And we've got 65 cars included on disc, which just seems like a very small number to me of cars. Now, honestly, 65 cars is quite a lot. But if you consider the fact that these guys have 110 plus courses in the game to play, that's also quite disappointing. I mean, it's like the opposite of Forza. In Forza 5, we have a lot of bloody cars, a lot of them that we probably never use, but that's besides the point. Everyone's opinions are different. We have about five tracks on Forza, but on here, we have about five cars or 65, and a load of tracks which I'm really excited to try. And I just kind of find it a bit annoying because I wanted to drive, say for example, my favorite car or my favorite track. And obviously it is more of a, like a GT racing, you know, actual car racing, you know, fully liveried out sponsorship car racing game. But there's no GTR, there's no Nissan at all, there's no Lamborghini, there's no Ferrari, there's nothing like that. And I understand licensing is a thing because once again, I defended the crew for having a small, quote unquote, car list because honestly it didn't have a small car list it had about the same as project cars but you have to consider all of the specs for the cars which they had to craft all the parts for each spec you know there's so many bloody parts in say a, a perf car there's like 20 front bumpers as well so there's a lot of time and effort gone into those and obviously i understand that they don't have a lot of money to put into licensing for these cars but the amount of tracks in this game it makes you go like well surely there's got to be a lot of nice cars for me to drive around it and it's just a bit, I, I don't know, it's, it's its just kind of confusing, it took me off guard a little bit because, as I said, I was very, very hyped for this game and now there's, you know, there's a lot of tracks which I w I'm very excited to try, but I'm going to be trying them all in the same car and to me that is not the racing driver experience that I was expecting. Now I know that Shift 2 was funded by EA Games, so that's where they're going to get all the licenses from, say for example Porsche, because Porsche is not possible unless you have the license, and EA is just, I don't even know what they're doing with it. But anyway, they had 151 cars in the game for Shift 2, and that's from 38 manufacturers, and it's like, I don't know, obviously I'm not in control of the money and where they spend the money and obviously people in the uh, in the actual company will have a designer on what cars they want to see in the game, that sort of thing. But I was honestly expecting a lot more stock style cars to go along with this game. Um, a lot of these cars are obviously GT cars, racing cars, that sort of thing, because that's what the game is aiming towards. But it still again just feels a little bit too little if you get what i mean i guess the main reason i'm disappointed is not because the game is bad in anyway anyway let's face it 65 cars is a decent amount of cars for literally any game but i guess the re reason i'm mostly disappointed with this car list is because if you look at forza something i've disliked about forza for the longest time from you know since playing the game it just doesn't have the tracks. The tracks are not there in Forza 5 onwards, and I am not expecting Forza 6 to do much better than that. So we've got a lot of damn cars in Forza, but there's next to no tracks to race them on, which becomes very, very stale indeed. And that's one reason why I'm worried about Project Cars, because once again, it's going to come very, very stale, because I'm using the same cars on all these tracks, and I like, you know, upgrading, progressing to different cars, that sort of thing. That's my style of gameplay, and I'm pretty sure it is for a lot of you people as well. Another one to look at is Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo has a lot of damn cars, but half of them are absolutely awful like okay more than half are absolutely awful and you'd never touch them because they're duplicates and there's just different colors and they're textured from the playstation 2 era and not been upgraded in any way and it's just like 
I was expecting a racing game to come along, example Project Cars, multi-platform to have a decent sized amount of cars, 100-ish, and to have a decent track selection, which it definitely does. So final thoughts on this, just to be clear, I do not dislike Project Cars. I am not going to not get Project Cars because it is a fantastic looking game. I'm just a little bit disappointed that there's only 65 cars in the game for a game that has so many tracks that is going to be so much fun to play with all these tracks and I'm going to be using the same cars over them. It just, it just to me feels a little bit stale and it's going to get to the point where I feel very stale. I, I don't, I don't want to play Forza 5 anymore. I'm not that excited for Forza 6 because I'm expecting them to have the same, oh, there's the same race in the same car uh, doing the same race over and over and over on different tracks. I say different tracks, it's about five tracks. You know, I'm just a little bit disappointed that it didn't have the variation of being in the middle of, you know, Gran Turismo 4, so having the right balance. I think if you're going to get any version of Project Cars, if you're able to get the PC version, that will be the way to go. Obviously, they may release DLC and sort out the list in a way, but I would more so, you know, side with the fact that there will be definitely be mods that will sort this out in the next couple of months or something. We'll see some Lamborghini cars ported over. We'll see some cars that we actually want to see ported over. But as I said, I'm a little bit disappointed about the car list, but the game is still looking pretty damn good. So let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comment section down below. I'm still picking up the game. Are you still picking up the game? I will see you guys in the next video. Black Panther out. Peace.